Welcome to this spontaneous video. I am Mariska and I will be your host who needs to clean her room. Okay, so yesterday I was like eating miso soup that I made kind of wrong out of a mug and I was watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I'm on like season two, episode five or something now. So I was ignoring my notifications about Taylor Swift posting and my friends do not care as much as I do. So nobody told me because they didn't know what was going on. Um, and then I finally went upstairs and I checked it and I started freaking out. Like I went into the hallway like crying and my sister was trying to sleep and I could have fallen down the stairs. Obviously, if you clicked on this video, you know what's happening. Taylor Swift has done it again. VMA wins and that like crazy rhinestone or whatever, the Oscar de la Renta dress. Side note, I'm obsessed with this edit. That, all of that was a moment, but then also announcing TS10, like it was her night. Then I like texted a whole bunch of people who do not care because I had no one to freak out with who actually did care. But anyway, I kind of slathered on some blue eyeshadow on top of my other makeup that I hadn't taken off. And then I thought, yep, doing this every day now. So this is my attempt at doing that makeup look. Maybe someone else has done it who knows more what they're talking about, but this is just how I'm gonna be doing it. So first I did like CeraVe cleanser, like you know, the turquoise-ish one. I've showed that in other videos and you probably know what it is. The ordinary glycolic acid toner thing. Almost back to school and my- <laughs> Has not contributed to my skin being better even though I should theoretically be less stressed. CeraVe, sunscreen so that's my base I guess I'm going thrifting so I don't really want to put on like all foundation and stuff because if I try anything it's gonna get all over the clothes and then I have to buy them and then I have to get the stains out so it's just a no I've been talking for so long anyway first thing makes sense wear beauty brow harmony good enough not good enough what is this? Sometimes this goes so smoothly and sometimes it looks so bad that it's like not even funny. Moving on, moving on. Um, I used this Wet n Wild eye primer with my mom's, but I have the oiliest eyelids. If I don't use primer, all of it separates and it just like collects in my crease at the end of the day. And it's not good. So Sweet Peach eyeshadow palette. I got this for like my 13th birthday and I still use it because I use things up really slowly. I'm using this dark like cool brown shade charmed i'm sure i'm just using this one fluffy brush followed the whole shape of my eye as you can see in the picture which i'm not even looking at right now and it's concentrated more at the edge here also i'm not using my actual mirror that i usually do my makeup at because like over there and i don't want the sun like behind me i don't usually sit on my bed because i would not trust myself with my all white bedding so that's the first step and then next thing I'm going to do, I have this brush here. I'm going to do NYX Ultimate Palette. I'm just gonna mix these ones because I don't remember what the actual shade looked like and it was a little bit less vibrant, but I think this will mellow itself out. So I'm just going all over the entire lid. There we go. That's what it looks like so far. My head was not centered in that. I'm just gonna use the other end, the smaller end of this brush and go in with this dark purplish navy kind of thing and go on the end here so i kind of made this like hard edge sort of thing like along the shape of where the eyeliner would go just because that's the shape of my eye and that's what it kind of did just blending the dark shade into the brown and then i'll probably go back in with more brown yep trust trust the process and now i'm using this galaxy baked eyeshadow this is from an ipsy thing. Shimmery shade, and I'm gonna brush it on first, but I'm also gonna have to use my finger probably because usually that just makes it shinier for some reason. Elf makes this um, glittery eyeshadow. I don't really know what it's called because I haven't bought it. I just looked up Elf liquid glitter eyeshadow and it should come up if you wanna find this. So this is what we have so far. I don't know how to show it. And I'm gonna look at the picture again because of course I stared at it for a while, but it was also like 
I mean, midnight my time because I was a little late because I was eating soup. I, I might have gotten blue eyeshadow on my bed. It's fine. Made with love, if not with skill. I think I am going to use concealer because I can see all my acne. Next, I'm going to try to do the eyeliner part. And for that, I'm just going to first do like smudgy shadow kind of thing using the shade Tempting. So I'm just going to go and do like a straight line, connect it to the middle of my eye. This one always, I feel like there's more skin on this eyelid or something, so it's kind of less smooth and a little bit... Kind of reminds me of if you were putting makeup on a really old clown and there's like the sagging face wrinkles. Not a cute analogy. Also, it should be aimed towards the tail of your brow. So I think that matches a lot better now. And I'm gonna use this other one that I used before. Talk Derby to me, the kind of shimmery purplish navy kind of thing. And that's what I have now. I might use actual eyeliner now. Um, weird thing, I had two of these because one of them was super dried out and then I bought another one and I've just been using whichever one works every day. But one of them, um, I had to improvise a paintbrush because I thought we didn't bring any with us to the cabin. Turned out my sister had a whole bunch that she had outside. But instead I just rinsed out like the remaining eyeliner because it was making really bad gray faint lines every day. And I thought, okay, it's done. I'll just use it for what I need right now. But then for some reason, most of the way through my painting process, it just randomly started working again as eyeliner. And I was really confused, but I've just been using it and weirdly like rinsing it out and using paint with it did something. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm not gonna question it. This blue is definitely popping a little more than hers was in that picture with her cool filter and her lighter that I'd be scared to use. I think I'm gonna go like under my eye a little bit just with whatever's left on this brush. The end part from when I did that like kind of deepening thing with the top derby to me shade. It's not really adding much. But details, 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 right? Going all the way into these inner corner sections and also kind of up here like beside where my nose starts because it kind of looked like that was part of it and that's what it looks like so far next step would be mascara logically you know shout out to alex to revlon something have a technique for this. Usually I use two mascaras and then I also bought the Essence Lash Princess, like the green one. I think it says false lash effect. That might just be the name of the product and all of them have that, but I'm not sure. I've only used it like a couple times to test it because I wanted it to be new for like school. So in a few days I'll get to use it. Doing my bottom lashes with the Lancome um, Definition. I can see a dot of black on my eyeball, but I can't get it because my nails are too long and it's like in there. Okay, you know what? It'll work itself out. Top side here. Oh, I wonder when Arcane Season 2 is coming out. If I missed Taylor Swift announcing her 10th studio album, I cannot be trusted to keep up with the news of anything that I'm even remotely interested in, I guess. Because I remember my mom showing me the You Belong With Me music video when I was, like, I don't even know how old. I, oh, I mean, I guess I could just do the math. I've definitely done it before. I just can't do math while I'm doing mascara. I watched it over and over and over again. I did have a brief stint where I jokingly temporarily renounced Taylor Swift in favor of Geronimo Stilted, who's um, I believe Italian album Isifa Festa <laughs> appeared on my Spotify because I was listening to my Christmas playlist. Yes, it was August. Um, I stand by my decisions and it suggested these audiobooks underneath that were just Geronimo Stilton chapters. So I listened to one just to see if that was actually what it was. Then I went to the artist profile and there was that album. Then I went to play it in my friend's car and it was on her phone. And Apple Music has a whole other one. And there's also like a couple English songs. So the internet was not helpful in telling me why they made a Geronimo Stilton album. You know what, check it out, why not? Probably makes my Spotify a little bit more diverse so the AI thing can't roast me. I have this Laneige lip sleeping mask in vanilla. Ooh, my posture is not good. It's only good when I'm walking. In the picture 
it's a shade of red, so I have the Glossier um, Generation G lipstick. I thought that it was going to be a replacement for my Burt's Bees, like the Tinted Lip Balm in Hibiscus, because it's a similar shade, but I forgot that these are matte and it's Ultra Lip. That's like a satin finish, but it's fine. Okay, I think that's good. I feel very brightly colored. Yeah, I'm satisfied with how that turned out. I'm just gonna do some concealer. Well, the other day I helped my sister get concealer shade match and the makeup counter attendant woman said that I did a good job and to get the one that I originally found even after she looked at another one. So I have been riding that ego high for a few days now. Also, I was putting all of the makeup products because my bed is squishy, obviously. I'm not Papa Bear. I put them on top of this book that I got at the library when I was feeling particularly downtown girl, that girl, um, Z economy. It's about Gen Z and the economy. I am not going to be becoming a finance bro. It's kind of interesting. Okay, I think this is the finished look. I have to do something with my hair, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave it. This is the vibe today. Ah! Okay. This is the look, I'll maybe try to film this a little bit better. I'm taking the thumbnail and I do not have a lighter. So I've been using this little Garfield statue that I also use as a pattern weight. But there's like people walking their dogs and construction guys and like just people going to their houses and stuff. And I look like I'm like trying to make out with my Garfield thing. But like, like I don't actually want to. I'm just trying to like get like the tension. It's weird. So, maybe I have to move now. If you watched this far, thanks for doing that. I feel like every single one of my videos I've promised to upload more often at the end, and I don't because I start editing all of them at the same time, and then I burn out for a while, and then I film more things, and then I don't want to touch all the footage because I have so much footage I didn't edit. Like, I have like, probably like 50 videos that I've at least started at some point, and I've definitely forgotten about some of them. No, maybe- no, 50 is right, it's gonna be almost two years. Wow. I don't know what else to say. I will probably film something, or like at least bring up Midnight's all the time, so I know when it's coming out. But this is a good day, and I'm just gonna be excited and happy about it, and wear blue eyeshadow all the time now, and if you would like to join me, that's pretty cool. Um, have stuff linked in the description and you can watch my other videos and like and subscribe. I would say comment which song you think is going to be your favorite but we have nothing to go off of because they're just numbers. So timestamp hit 1717, that means it is time to stop. I like the number 17, I decided it was my favorite in like 7th grade. Okay, time for my avocado toast, bye!